Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Love and Jesus, and today we're with Proverbs 6, 8. Yet it stores its provision in summer and gathers its food at harvest. We have been talking about the ant uh, in Proverbs 6, which the Lord is teaching us how we can use and observe the ant and take that into our own life and how it will be good for us. As we mentioned before, the ant works a lot. He He's carrying food to the hill, he's protecting the hill, he's moving around. Ants survive during the winter. They survive in very cold climates. They survive in hotter, drier climates. And what they know is that there's this idea of we've got to work so then when work is not available and we need provisions, they will be stored up. The Lord does want us to work too. One thing I can say about my family of origin is that there was this idea that was presented to all of us that we need to work and we need to work to provide for ourselves. I remember us working at an early age. I remember all of us believing it was up to us to provide, to provide for our food, to provide for our housing, to provide. What I realized is that there's this idea about work that different families have given you some different opinions and maybe the Lord wants to change that. Some families have said that maybe we don't work, we provide on government. The government provides for us. Some have said, well, maybe we try to work as the least amount we can, and then we try to talk our way or manipulate people into giving us stuff. And that's kind of our philosophy. Some people feel, well, maybe we need to just make sure we're with someone who will provide for us so that we don't have to work. And that's the best thing that we need to do. And really sitting around doing nothing is the goal and ultimate goal that our family wants to reach. I would suggest that maybe you pray to the Lord and ask him, is there any way that these opinions of work that maybe have come from family or opinions of society that has come from family that the Lord wants to challenge you with and, and to look at the ant and how does he want to, to challenge you in those ways? Thank you for listening.